Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the methods that we can use to interact with the browser in our any Selenium script. So browser operations are the first thing for learning Selenium. So because you are doing the web automation, so you'll be launching the browser and then working with some of the browser operations, for example, maximizing, minimizing or moving forward, backward. So all that we are going to understand in this particular tutorial. So if you see, I have prepared this particular sheet, which has some of the details on what these operations are. So I'll share this as well. So say, for example, I want to navigate to a particular URL. So we have been using this driver dot get and you provide the URL. So what exactly is this one? It is, it is a basic method. So if you see anything in the parenthesis, that's the method and anything which doesn't have parenthesis is a property. So property, say for example, I want to get the current URL that is there on the browser that you have launched, then get URL or driver.current underscore URL will get you that particular property. So it will read the current URL from the browser's address bar. Similarly, back, forward, refresh, very self-explanatory back will move the browser back or it will press the browser's back button forward will press the forwards button refresh will refresh the page and then if you want to read the title you use the driver dot title and it's a property so and rest here maximize window minimize window full screen window close and quit right so full screen window is basically it fills the entire screen so when we say maximize window it enlarges the window without blocking the operating system's own menus and toolbars right so that's the difference between maximize window and full screen window window so it won't block the operating systems menu and toolbars but if you say full screen window it's basically like pressing f11 on the browser okay so say for example if i open chrome and this is the chrome if i press f11 you will see that's how the full screen will appear okay so that's what full screen operation or the method will do then close and quit so there is a difference between close and quit i'll explain that as well so basically what close does is it closes the current window that is open and now say for example in your application when you are testing the application there are multiple tabs that get open or multiple windows that get open then if you use close it will close the re most recent or the active window that the control would be there if you use quit it will quit or close all the windows and tabs associated with that particular web driver session so that's the difference between close and quit so let's go ahead to PyCharm and quickly understand all of these in action so I'll demo all of these so let me copy the existing code here and I will create a new Python file and I will name it as a demo browser methods okay let me paste everything here okay so now these are very similar steps so let me change this class name this is a bit confusing that we have been using so let me change it to demo selenium learning maybe okay and then here we are what we are trying to do is we are basically let's say we name the method as demo browser methods okay now we are basically setting up the chrome driver manager so basically web driver manager which will configure the chrome driver for us then let's open a website so let me open the training portal for rcv academy okay so i'll open training dot rcvacademy.com where i have published all these courses and then let's understand these methods one by one okay so let me copy everything here okay and comment out all right minimize this okay so now we have already understood driver.get will load this particular website right so driver.get and then we provide the url and that url will be open in the chrome browser now if we want to get the current url right so that there might be a need so let's say we want to get the current url we want to print it on the console so we can say we can get the property driver dot current url and that will get the current url and we can print it on the console because it's a property and then similarly we can also print so we can say driver dot the title right so we can also get the title of this particular page okay so we have understood about the current url get and the title okay now the next thing is how you will maximize this particular page the the browser window so we can say driver dot maximize window that's pretty simple method and after maximizing say for example you want to minimize or you want to change it to full screen so you can say just full screen window okay 
then if you want to move further so say for example i want to minimize right so i can say minimize window okay so this this line will minimize the window so we have covered maximize minimize full screen and let's cover back forward refresh as well okay so before covering back forward and refresh what i'll do is i will just add a refresh here so i'll say driver dot refresh okay so what refresh will do is it, it will refresh that particular page okay it's similar to as refresh as we press refresh on the browser so after maximizing it will go to full screen and then refresh the page after refreshing say for example i want to move forward and backward okay so let me open the browser and here let me open the portal so on this portal at the moment i can't move forward because I haven't clicked on any of the link okay so let's say for example I'll click on all courses okay and then I will move back and then again to the courses okay so let me inspect this particular all courses web element and we will use the text okay so we'll use the text that is there so let me go to select us up to make it a little quick and we'll get this link test text copied okay now after full screen and refresh what i'll do is i will say driver dot find element by link text okay and provide the link text there and then we want to click on it so we'll say dot click okay so this will click on the all courses now i can use the so i'll say now i will i want to basically move back so i'll say driver dot back right so it will move back and then driver dot forward so it will again come to this particular page when we'll say move back it will go to the home page and then it will again come to this page so let's see this right so say for example i'll click on all courses now we can go back right and then again we can go forward and it will come back to this all courses page okay so back and forward and then we are minimizing the window so what all we have covered we have covered back forward refresh title current url minimize maximize full screen and close and quit is remaining right so close if you'll close it will close the current window if you will use quit it will close current window and all associated windows okay so we can say driver dot quit okay so this will close all the windows now at the bottom here what we need to do is this is our class which has one method so we'll create an object of this class so we'll simply say to create an object in python we'll simply say followed by the parenthesis so class name followed by the parenthesis and this is the variable that will hold the reference of that particular class so we'll say let's say this name is so we'll say demo browser let's say that's the variable name and then we can call the method so we'll say demo browser dot and demo browser methods okay so let me now run this and see what all happens with this particular script so all the browser operations will be performed perfectly fine so opening the browser it will open the portal it should now maximize the page it has maximized full screen then refreshed clicked on all courses and it went so quick that we couldn't see anything there okay so let me put some sleep there okay so that we can see things properly so after full screen refresh we want to see the forward and backward so let me put because everything else at the initial stages was fine i think back and forward is what we need to look a little bit closely okay so let me now run it again so opening the browser it should maximize it now full screen refresh clicked on all courses then it will go back then again to all courses it will move forward then it will minimize it's already minimized here you can see and it will quit okay so after minimizing you can see it has already quit so this is these are basically some of the very important methods that you will be using a lot okay and understanding these practicing these is very very important it will help you in uh, in basically making your basic concepts very clear before we can go ahead and dig deeper into the advanced topics of framework and how to design framework and tackle the complex topics into the selenium automation with python okay so that's all for this tutorial i'll upload all this code it will be available for your reference so do not worry about it 
but my recommendation is please go ahead and practice as much as you can because practice is the only thing that will help you to understand the core concepts and the issues that you might find in your specific environment okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching